Hi, and welcome to another episode of Catcher TV. In this episode, my friend Ashley and I are targeting Black Brim at a coastal river on the east coast of Tasmania. So stay tuned. Our target today is a powerful yet elusive black brim. Black brim live in many parts of Australia, but Tasmania has a reputation for being home to some real bruises. Our goal is to catch one and turn it into a tasty meal. This diverse ecosystem is the kind of place that time forgot. It's like stepping into another world, one ruled by the seabirds and the marine life. This is what I love about Tasmania. The trick to fishing for black brim is to move around until you find the fish. Black brim loves structure, so it pays to concentrate around fallen trees, jetties, oyster leases, or anything that offers a bit of protection and the chance for an easy meal. Whilst it's risky to do so in these snaggy environments, we find that fishing light usually helps us connect to more fish. So today, we're using two kilogram outfits with soft plastics such as Berkeley Gulp sandworms and also hard body lures such as Crankers and Smith Paniche 70mm. When using soft plastics, let the lure drop to the bottom and then wind it back slowly with a series of jerks and pauses. When using hard body lures, rip the lure by sweeping the rod tip to get it down to depth and then experiment with the retrieval speed. Be sure to include some long pauses, as Brim love to strike a stationary target. Ashley hooks into an absolutely smashing black Brim straight up. That's lunch sorted. Just fishing this channel edge here, just bouncing this plastic up at up along the channel edge and uh, yeah just just got hammered you can see how in these sorts of rivers they go really dark he's a sort of a dark bronzy color they out in the ocean they can be a real silvery sort of color yeah you know, he's been in the river a while and they got a mean set of choppers on them as well just for crushing oysters and mussels look at look at the teeth if I can just yeah look at that hit very hard absolutely pounded that lure Feeling the pressure, I focus and soon come up with a fish of my own. But it's not a brim, it's a flathead. The thing about flathead that you have to watch, you see these spikes here, just on the, on the side of the head there, and also these ones on the dorsal fin. They're, they're not, they won't, not deadly, but they will give you a nasty little sting, so you just have to watch that. The safest place to hold a flathead is in the mouth. This one can go back. In the next hour or so, we catch a variety of interesting species that highlight the health and diversity of this incredible ecosystem. When Ashley caught the small cuda before, we saw some garfish swimming around, so I've changed to a garfish rig, which is basically a pencil float running down to a small hook with a little bit of bait and a split shot. And we've just thrown a little bit of fish into the water to hopefully attract some. But rather than a garfish, a crafty black brim grabs a small morsel of bait and powers off. Yep. Look at that. Oh, That's beautiful. Yeah, he's, more, he's a lighter one than the other one. He's a slightly lighter colour, isn't, isn't he? he? Yeah. Oh, but Same still. Sort of size, and it? look at this tiny little hook just pinned in his jaw here. We're actually just fishing for garfish, and he's just taken the garfish bait. With lunch already sorted, we release this mighty fish to fight another day. 
And with all this commotion, a bull ray glides over to see if there's an easy meal on offer. Check out the barb on that beast. Not only the bull ray is hungry, and food is literally all around us. On the menu today is a whole fried black brim served in a sticky, tangy Thai inspired sauce. The sauce is a magic combination of flavours. Chilli, garlic, ginger, brought together with fish sauce, sugar and lime. The brim is served on a bed of freshly picked native samphire that I blanched. The clean flavour of the brim absolutely shines through and there can be no better place in the world to enjoy one than here, the very place from where it came. Life surely doesn't get any better than this. In the next episode of Catcher TV, I'm on a quest for monster trout and that takes me all the way to Jurassic Lake, Argentina. 21 pounds of Jurassic Rainbow. So stay tuned.